Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for your Magic Flight Orbiter and Dabex with Cali Stripes Diamonds Dab of the Day. Hello, everybody. Today is Saturday. As always, if you enjoy today's video, please join the Senior Stoner family. Hit that subscribe button. Love to have you. Please send a like my way, and I reply to every comment, as you know. Let's get started. How many people out there, if not all of us, have heard the term, think before you speak? We've all heard the term. But nobody listens. Have you ever said something you later regretted saying? Of course we have. Everybody has. Have you ever had words spoken to you you wish were never said? Of course you have. Everybody's had that experience. We have no control what, what the others say to us, but we have plenty of control over what we say to them. Our words can either build up or tear down. Our speech can encourage or deflate. What we say can either heal or harm. But is there some way we won't end up regretting the words we speak? some way we can improve what we say. Fortunately, our speech can improve significantly following a simple age-old rule. Think before you speak. It's extremely easy to say, but how do we go about using it in a practical way? Well, if the goal is to think before you speak, maybe we should use an acronym. Let's use the word thanks. T-H-A-N-K-S. That's right. Because we'd all like to give thanks if words spoken to us were friendly and kind. Likewise, others will give thanks if our words are positive and beneficial. So let's look at thanks and see how we can help avoid saying things that one day we're gonna rue. T for true. We begin with the word true because how do you know it's true? If you're merely quoting what you heard, it's simple. John told me he'll be in later tomorrow, but you're not predicting John's arrival time. You aren't saying that John will be late or not. You're simply reporting what he had said. So what you're saying is true. But it's more complicated than that. When we make a statement claiming to know something is true, we should be sure that it is. What's our source of information? Is it reliable? If we're saying something about another person, it's even more important to be accurate and truthful. Don't be a purveyor of untruths. Be sure what you're saying is accurate. So if you don't know, find out. If you aren't sure, double check. If you know it's not true, don't say it. H for helpful. Speaking what is true might not be enough. We also want to speak what is helpful. And there are innumerable ways to speak helpful. Words of encouragement, compliments, helpful suggestions, friendly warnings, appreciation or thankfulness, even in conversations where things are going quick, our words should help in some way, if nothing more than to assure the other person that they're safe with us and that they can be themselves around us. A, for affirming. We want to affirm those we're speaking to. By affirming, I don't mean paying compliments, though compliments do affirm. We're talking about inspirational or interpersonal pep talks. Sometimes we need one and sometimes others need them. We need to speak to them like they matter, not just to you, but to the whole human race. How do you show people that? By making eye contact, by repeating their own words sometimes, by speaking politely and respectfully, and by treating what they say seriously. We all want to feel affirmed and the necessary this might be the most difficult one to navigate out of the thanks. 
when something's necessary to say? When is it merely helpful? When is it harmful? Some cases are clear. Other times, we might choose to speak words that are not only unnecessary, but are harmful. Maybe not in a tangible, physical way, but they do harm the person emotionally or mentally. So, we need to make sure that we are not doing what's called non-constructive criticism. Criticism that's done more for the speaker than for the hearer. You see, it's so easy to criticize, difficult to affirm. But it's really necessary to say to someone something better than just to tell them what to do. You want to encourage people the best you can, challenge them to improve. And the bottom line, when it comes to necessity, simply ask yourself before you speak, is this necessary? And now we go to the K for kind. Well, our world is not as civil as it used to be. There's so much hostility in modern society, it shocks anybody. So whether the person is a life partner, a friend, a colleague, or an adversary, you can speak kindly to them. And you should. There's nothing to be gained otherwise. Kind words are simply polite words. They're words that convey respect. Kind words build up rather than tear down. They encourage and make another person's day or even the journey a bit easier and more pleasant. Kind words are free to speak. It just takes a little bit of effort to say something kind rather than something critical, harsh, mean, or cruel. Be the one who changes the world of one person, just one, through your kind words. And finally, there's the S for sincere. Thinking before you speak truly means be sincere. Sincerity is similar to honest, but not identical. To be sincere is to speak what's genuine. It's easy to be honest without being sincere. It's more difficult to be sincere without being honest. Now, words are honest to the degree that people aren't lying sometimes. Words can be insincere in that they deliberately mislead or deceive. So when we're sincere, we may be saying something that's not even factual, but our purpose is noble. There's a time to be brutally honest, and that time is usually when someone asks you to be. Other times, we can be perfectly sincere without being perfectly factual. It happens all the time. Sometimes our words of encouragement are not 100% factual, yet they're 100% sincere. We tell someone that everything will be okay when deep down we know it won't be. At least not in the way they think it will be. Sometimes we sacrifice a bit of accuracy for the sake of sincerity and kindness. After all, it makes the world a kinder place. And finally, finally, we have a responsibility when it comes to our words. Be careful with your words because once they're said, they can only be forgiven, not forgotten. I hope you enjoyed today's discussion on thinking before we speak. Let's take our dab, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe, send a like, and I love those comments. Here we go. It should be cotton balls inside the Magic Flight Orbiter today as we take our hit and start our day. Cheers, everybody. And thanks for joining me today. The Real Senior Stoner. Oh, is this tasty? <coughs> Have a great day, everybody. Cheers.